guys. It's Dr. Sam Robbins. How you doing today? I am going to the gym today. I think I'm doing triceps and hamstrings. I know it's a weird mix, but that's what I'm doing. Um, the point to that telling you is you got to have a plan before you go to the gym. Don't just go and wing it. Um, let me take off my hat and be respectful to you. Um, so today I want to talk about what to eat to maximize muscle growth. Um, in a future video, I'll talk about what you should not do or eat before uh, for maximizing muscle growth. And uh, again, this is for for gaining muscle. This isn't um, for losing fat or any of that stuff. For all you guys that are doing intermittent fasting, forget about it. It's not going to work. I'm assuming you're going to be eating five or six meals a day, maybe more. Again, you're trying to gain muscle, you're trying to gain weight, and so forth. So, and in most ideal world, you'd eat three meals, then go to the gym, and then eat three more meals. Uh, and the reason for that is I like to get on a few meals because I fill up more, I have more glycogen in my muscles, I get a better pump, and I just feel better, right? You obviously in a future video, I you don't want to go to the gym empty, fasted, again for building muscle. And you also don't want to not have any meals at the end of the night either. You also don't want to work out late in the night because of cortisol levels, because it impedes good sleep. So in an ideal world, um, again, by the way, if you have questions about any of this stuff, make sure you leave your questions and comments below. Um, this is all for you. I'm doing this all just off the cuff on my way to the gym. I thought I'd make some good videos for you. This stuff I can talk about all day long. And uh, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when, you're, when your um, questions are answered. And if I pick your specific question, you get any supplement you want for free. So with that said, that's what you want to do in an ideal world. Not everyone lives in an ideal world. So today I at the bare minimum, I'm trying to work out more during the day, earlier in the day, because like I said, later in the day, I'm a little bit more tired. Um, I'm not as energetic. Mentally, I'm a little bit more ugh, out of it because of work. And you also don't want to work too late in the day because it impedes good sleep and all that stuff. So these days, I try to get in one good meal, maybe a second one, and then I go to the gym. And you definitely want to have some carbohydrates before the gym. If you don't, you're not going to be able to get as much stamina, as much, you're not going to get a good pump. And trust me, a, tr a pump is really important, not just physiologically, but emotionally. You get a good pump, you get a good workout. Uh, and of course, that doesn't mean you want to load up on a ton of carbs because for most of us, when you have carbohydrates, too much of it, especially the wrong kind, you get tired. So you also don't want to do that. Now, personally, I get energized when I have carbs. So I still have it, but that again, doesn't mean you're going to have a lot. So I have, um, some solid protein and carbs and a little bit of fat, um, before my workout, right? Maybe about two hours before today, I had a combination of bison and chicken. And here's the other thing. If I have only bison, like a big amount, like let's say eight ounces or whatever, let's say 50 grams of bison, I, I don't digest meat very well, red meat, so it's slow to digest for me. Even if I take um, hydrochloric acid and digestive enzymes, I don't want it to kind of be burping up my workout. I have enough, and chicken digests well for me, even though you know, it doesn't have as many nutrients, but I want to get my protein in and easy to digest. Eggs are fine. The other thing you can do is, for example, do eggs mixed in with some um, like maybe two whole eggs, some egg whites, a little bit of chicken breast if you want. And as far as carbs, add Ezekiel bread because it's still good good carb, but doesn't shoot up glycemic index. I also do very well with white rice. Again, not too much. Um, no more than for me, 50 grams. I have probably, let's say 50 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein, okay? And then before my workouts, I'll have a little bit of fish oil as well as MCT oil, because it does tend to give me a little bit more energy, but you don't have to do the MCT oil. At the very minimum, get some 
fish oil in you. Again, I take a teaspoon of it. It's easier, it's cheaper for me to do that than to pop some pills. And I get the, I think the Carlton, Carson, Carlton one. I'll try to put a link below. And it tastes like lemon flavored, so it's not bad. And I have that. Two hours before the workout is when I'm getting ready to go right now. I mix myself a protein shake equal amounts of protein and carbs. I do whey isolate, so there's uh, there's no lactose in there, so it's easier to digest. I don't do well with lactose. That's the only time I have any dairy. All right, before the workout, um, I actually have the uh, uh, fish oil in the morning, and then right before the workout, I have some MCT oil, so I mix that up by accident, sorry. So I have the fish oil in the morning, right before I mix a protein shake, 50 grams of each, and I have a little bit of MCT oil, I have probably like half the shake two hours after my breakfast, right before my workout. I have that and I drive to the gym. It takes about 15 minutes, do my warm ups. So about 30 minutes into the workout, the foods hit me. And then I finish my workout. I have the rest of the shake. Again, that 50 grams of, of protein and, and uh, carbs. Um, and then I come home, you know, I finish it right after my workout, or sometimes I have it in near the end of my workout, the rest of the shake, so it gets in my bloodstream the next 20 minutes, or you can just sip it, because maybe it's too much to hit you all at once, um, and again, it's easy to digest, It's it doesn't cause any uh, stomach discomfort, and I also put some L-glutamine in there, you can put some L-arginine in there, and I'll tell you the supplements I take also, and then after my workout, I come home, I'll probably take a shower, I'll walk the dog, I'll check some emails, make sure everything's good. So within the hour, hour and a half, again, it doesn't have to be a stickler, I have my next big meal. And I might have the same thing again. I'll have some bison and chicken, so it's still easy to digest, it still gets in my bloodstream. I might have some, again, the same meal, Ezekiel with white rice. Boy, man, this guy's going so slow in front of me. He's going literally 40 miles an hour. Arr, we're on the freeway, people. <laughs> so then I have that and you know at that point I might also take a little nap okay I also have fruit maybe if you want I might have a little bit of fruit in my first meal and a little bit of fruit after my meal I try to have my biggest meals before and after my workout okay those are the two big meals you want some carbs and protein in both those meals um, you want to fill up fill up the glycogen get a good pump re replenish everything um, and then and then I'll take a little nap or I'll meditate or I've got a massage I just go and just lay down for 15 20 minutes just to relax my brain lower cortisol levels all that and I'll talk about more of that it's really important by the way why do I have carbs before the workout and after the workout carbs the insulin helps prevent cortisol levels from rising okay I'll tell you about the supplements in a minute you want that insulin is good um, it's anabolic. You just don't want high levels of insulin all day long because then it's going to be anabolic to fat as well. But before and after the workout, go ahead and load up. Now, if you're trying to gain muscle, go ahead and eat more carbs throughout the day. Just don't take so much that it spills over, especially if you're not doing that many sets. Before and after the workout, you have it. So at this point, I've had two and a half meals. You know, the, the breakfast or that meal number one, the shake, and then meal number two. Those are my two big ones. Each one, I've had 50 grams, 50 grams, 50 grams. So right there, I've already had 150 grams of protein, at least 150 grams of carbs. Uh, I've had some fat, and I'll take my little nap. And then the rest of the day, you can do whatever you want. Okay, if you're on a diet, you wanna just maximize, um, you just you know minimize the fat gain. Just have more protein and fat the rest of the day, minimal carbs. Or otherwise, just keep eating more carbs. Or, or the next two meals, go lower carbs, and then before bed, have some carbs. Because the carbs helps with serotonin levels, improves melatonin before sleep, and so forth. So you might have carbs, protein, carbs, protein, carbs, protein, and then um, protein, fat, protein, fat, and then carbs, protein, and some fat, you know, mixed in um, after the workout, I mean, right before bed. And hold on, let me make sure I don't get in a car accident. Thank you, California drivers. And at that point, you're done for the day. I can't tell you exactly what to eat, but that's basically it. 
Um, again, I have roughly minimum of 200 grams to 300 grams of protein. Every day is not exact. I'm not like a pro bodybuilder. I obviously don't even look at, don't have the genetics. I can't have a run around my life. Again, I'm about 50 years old. I have other things to do in my life. Make sure you have some healthy fats. You know, there's two other meals that I have protein and fat. My fat source is olive oil, macadamia nut oil, um, Udo's oil. My protein sources, again, might be chicken and bison. That's it. I might have some salmon if you don't like fish, whatever. And then my before my bed, I have less protein, only like 25 or 20 grams of protein because high protein increases your, your, um, your, and I made this a video before, it increases your body temperature and increases thyroid production, increases your heart rate. You don't want that before bed. You don't want your body temperature to go up. So you have less carbs, only about 20, I mean, protein to about 25 grams. You have a little bit more, more carbs, maybe 30 or 40, you know, again, I love fruit. Fruit's a good source. It's whole food. Um, again, you can do what you want. Yams are also good and have some good, healthy fats. You know, before bed, I have like typically like four whole eggs, maybe a little bit of Ezekiel bread and a little bit of piece of fruit. And then an hour later I go to bed and that's it. Simple, basic. Now, as far as the supplements, remember all this stuff is to improve testosterone and cortisol. In the morning, I take my two alpha virals and post-workout, I have two more alpha virals. Post-workout, I also take um, stress and cortisol relief to lower my stress levels after the workout. You don't want it before the workout. You want cortisol to be high before the workout because it gives you energy and, and, and drive. After the workout, you want to lower your cortisol. That's why I also tell you to take some carbs. I also tell you to take a nap, or at least if you can't take a nap, just relax and get your mind down, and your nervous system back to normal, okay, so you can start recovering. Take stress and cortisol relief to, to those, maybe three if you had a tough workout. Right after your workout, um, or even at the gym, you can bring the bottle with you. Again, more information, details below in the description area. Um, if you want energy, you can take 50 grams or 50 uh, milligrams of a caffeine pill. You know, you can take a no-dose, uh, just chop it in quarters. I take that right before my workout, maybe an hour before or two hours. But honestly, every morning I take one or two um, body brain energies because too much caffeine increases cortisol levels. And not only that, who cares about that? It stays in your system that you can't sleep as well. And again, sleep is the most important thing you can do to build muscle. It improves all your hormones. So two body brand energies in the morning, two alpha viral in the morning. Post-workout, I have two more alpha virals. And then I have two um, stress and cortisol relief. Before bed, I have two stress and cortisol relief because you want to, again, lower cortisol levels right before bed. You want cortisol low after the workout and at night, but higher in the mornings. And... Then I take um, deep sleep formula. Again, if you have no problem sleeping, then you don't need it. But I do. Most people do. You want deep sleep, deep quality sleep, not necessarily longer sleep. I take two of those before about half an hour to 45 minutes before sleep. And you're good to go. Don't forget to also take vitamin C right after your workout. I take three grams because it helps improve um, decreasing cortisol levels. Um, so take that vitamin C. Sorry, man. Got to find parking. I take that vitamin C, stress and cortisol relief after your workout. And I also take stress and cortisol relief and vitamin C before bed. I take honest to God about 10 grams of vitamin C a day. I know a lot of you are going to say that's too much. I spread it out throughout the day. Um, two most important times is after the workout and before bed. So it lowers cortisol levels. Um, I think... I covered it all, my friends. Let me know what questions you have. Take a look at below this video for all the details. I always apologize for my driving, all the tech issues, but I'm trying to do this raw. If I don't do it, I won't get the videos out because I'm so busy. My only goal is to help you achieve your health, fitness, and longevity goals. And these sessions is for building maximum amount of muscle, minimizing fat gain. Let me know your questions, your comments found this helpful share it with other people so they can benefit so we don't all make all those stupid mistakes that i made growing up a million mistakes back then all the magazines would lie to you it was all bs and these days at least you can do search online which is good but you have so much misinformation you get confused as to who to believe what to believe 
there's so much BS because people are regurgitating wrong information over and over again. Um, very few experts out there. You don't necessarily want to listen to pro bodybuilder or some guy with great genetics because they don't get it. Anything works for them. Listen to me. Crap genetics. I don't have this great body, but it, I've come a long way. You got to maximize your body genetics. That's all you can do. Don't compare yourself to others. Just do the best you can. Stay injury free. Stay happy and healthy. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Click the bell icon. Make sure you take a look at the information below this video so you can get more additional free information. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.